Hello everyone and thank you very much for watching. This is me, Mr. P, and in this video I would like to talk to you about Wemaxit display, 8-inch display, which works with Samsung DeX. Let's begin. It's been quite a while ago, well, thinking I probably haven't recorded a video for about a month or, or two, probably even two months ago. Anyway, the last video, one of the last videos where I done a review about the product was a Wemaxit 12-inch portable display. And that was a, a small unit, that was a very light and small display to use with Samsung DeX. But we Maxit reached out again and said, wait, we have even smaller display. And that is the we Maxit M818 display, 8 inches, as it runs at 1280x720p at 60Hz. And Samsung DeX works on it. But before going into that, I want to just give a little rundown exactly what this device does. What we have here, so we have 8 inch portable, dis portable, it's not portable because, it's not portable because there is a barrel plug connector. That's the one I have already connected into a wall plug and we're gonna use that. I will show you all the things, how it works. So basically it's not portable display. I just, I, I'm, I'm used to saying we max a portable display so many times. This is a we max it display that uh, eight inches in size, like I said, is 1280 by 720p. It has a bunch of connections. I'm gonna jump straight away to this um, leg kind of thing cause I'm gonna take that off in a minute. Just I wanna show you how it all works. So there's like a, a, like a twist knob kind of thing. So you can lock it in like 180, de 180 degrees rotation. And once you undo that quite a lot, you can go this way. So you have a lot of basically possibilities how you want to mount that. You can mount that on a wall like this. So attach this to a wall. Let's say I tighten this up. There is a wall. Ooh, somebody at my door. My ring camera decided to notify me about it. I'm just gonna put this on mute. Anyway, put this on a wall and you can keep it like this. You can undo that, keep it like this, and mount it on a desk because this leg has two holes here. So you can basically screw that onto the uh, wall ceiling. For example, on the ceiling, let's say you can go this way. So you mount this on the ceiling, or you can go this way, mount like this on the ceiling. Let's say you're in a camper van or something and you're traveling a lot and you want to have like a small screen. I don't know, let's say set up for rear view camera when you're reversing back in your camper van or something so that should work one thing to mention about this once i get all tied up it's it is a bit loose it's not a big deal it's not destroying the functionality not basically tanking functionality to the ground but just annoyance and the thing why it wobbles a bit if i undo this so it has a, like a metal thing here which you slide in into the groove here and the groove is like one millimeter wider than it's supposed to be and once you add that in and you tighten it up, it wobbles a bit. Even this tightening mechanism doesn't help. The ports we have, which way I'm going to show you this? This way or this way? This way. So on the left hand side, looking this way, uh, there's a, a barrel plug, DC 12 volt. That's how this display will receive the power. VGA. VGA is probably the most used port by me, most used port on this monitor because just before I decided, I decided to record this video, I had to reinstall my work PC windows and instead of grabbing 24, 27 inch monitor, I just got at that on the, with the leg and everything on the top of the, the box, or computer box, connected VGA and got Windows 10 uh, sorted, no problem. Then I had to do the similar thing for my friend. And again, instead of trying to hunt for a bigger display, we just grabbed that and that works straight away with no problems at all. Next, followed after the VGA, we have HDMI and that will work with Samsung DeX. Then we have audio video, left and right channel. We have USB. USB port is used for reading multimedia from USB uh, drive, USB stick. And BNC at the end, BNC at the end, if I'm going to show you again, BNC at the end. This is, looks like an old fashioned uh, TV antenna kind of thing. So this can probably show you um, um, TV channels. Of the antenna and at the back we have ventilations and there is a 75 millimeter base amount connection so if the leg the wobbly leg that you can attach here is not your cup of tea you can basically mount this on the 75 mil base amount adapter at the top we have a couple of buttons here from this side we have a power we have a selection button so basically rotation you go from a b c d and then go back selection the middle button is for menu this one is okay select and this one cancel deselect and then we have led light which lights in red 
once it's turned on. All this thing is made of metal and I do have a measuring tape already, like measure tape ready. So it's uh, eight inches this way, five inches this way, one and a half inch this way. So how I'm gonna get everything right now tested for you guys. I do have HDMI cable. So here you go, HDMI cable goes to uh, QG um, USB-C hub. I will use my Fold 3 without any connections and that's how it's gonna go. Next, right, let's go and plug in the power. I do have a power ready. Let's plug that in. And here we go. As you can see, if you can see, there is a, the brightness resolution thing is really taxing. So I think I'm going to do this way. We're just going to do this camera angle right now. So blue screen shows no signal pops in across the screen. And right now what we're going to do, we're going to grab HDMI cable. I will plug in HDMI cable into the HDMI port. USB-C goes into my Fold 3. That's plugged in. Uh, let's go this way and my phone should detect that I have HDMI disconnected unless I think this is one of the USB-C hubs that I is basically I have a lot of USB-C hubs and some of them started to play up so this is probably going to be one of these USB-C hubs that just decided to not work for me so give me a second here we go I'm back and good old U green USB-C hub save the day I do have a DEX output here here we go so Samsung DEX at 1280 by, uh, by 720p 60 uh, 60 resolution 60 hertz resolution I'm just gonna switch the mouse into the uh, Samsung DEX here we go so if we go into settings I need to do the same with the keyboard the settings then I jump in into settings if I go to my Samsung DEX settings for resolution it is locked I can't change Samsung text resolution. I'm not sure if the camera will pick it up because camera brightness level things goes off. But anyway, Samsung Dex works. And yes, Samsung Dex working, you can do things on it. But uh, for me, I'm, I'm, I've been using this in Samsung Dex for a couple of weeks now. And to be honest, it is not the, not the greatest experience for Samsung Dex. Uh, don't get me wrong there is there is uh websites that will show perfectly on this screen with this small resolution it will show everything you will can you will be able to read everything all the text is legible no problems at all other websites is struggle this monitor has speakers built in but these speakers actually are not the not the best ones in the world as i mentioned in previous videos i I like to call speakers they are that type of the speakers notification speakers because that's all they are good for just for notification reasons just to get you a uh, uh, attention about something that is happening so if I go in this video and the table I first of this white desk is a Kia height adjustable desk this was my office desk and obviously when I moved to work from home I took the desk with me I will try to find it on a Kia website and leave it this is a that's a speaker quality like you heard just now that is not the greatest in the world it's it's way below the average like I like to name them but they're fine if you want to get notification on let's say uh, once email arrive on when the task is finished and you just, the, 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 the ping will happen the, the actual speakers blasting for these two holes here at the back they're on a size they're more these holes for more ventilation but obviously sound will leak through the side as well once you are listening to a music or once you're listening to audio on this monitor um, the actual back vibrates well it feels like it's vibrating because like it's the the speakers trying to output too much sound they're trying to overpower the sound that they're actually they're capable of I'm gonna quickly jump into the browser let's close the tabs let's go into Samsung Dex just we're opening Samsung Dex obviously my Samsung Dex is in a dark mode so you'll be able to see better on the screen but here we go Samsung Dex I can see exactly what's happening my DEX implementation, DEX on the monitor, PC and TV. Here we go. I can see all the comments and etc. It is legible. Uh, there is a my Samsung DEX post, 151 upvote. I like this this guy's um, Samsung DEX setup. It's it looks super cool. It looks super cool. Here we go. I really do. I really like this. And it's a high adjustable desk. Uh, this is this is great. Anyway, so every, some of the websites, like I said, will be hard to read. Others will be fine. Overall, this monitor is usable or well, it works with Samsung Dex, but it's not, I would not say that this is like you should be your main monitor to use on Samsung Dex. What I see this monitor or usefulness of this monitor or 
where I would suggest to use this monitor is, for example, if you are, let's say you, you work in an industry where you have to monitor equipment. Let's say there is a, a machine that makes parts for your company and you have an app for that. And once you're on your phone, let's say a normal size phone, and you're trying to monitor the app, what's going on it might be hard to see the, the proper, uh, the, the phone will struggle or the app will struggle to show you the proper graphs or in a proper way for you to understand it better. So something like this, where you have the small phone plugged in next to it and the DEX outputs and the app outputs on this screen, the obviously it's going to be bigger and it's going to be much better for you to see it. It's more like a monitoring thing while your phone is getting charged while it's connected to USB-C, USB-C hub. For me personally, for me personally, is not, I'm just, I just tapped my screen. I, I thought my phone just went in halves anyway. So fold phone. And if I take this, let me quickly switch the camera again. So you, uh, we max the screen. I'll go, I will turn this on just for better vi visualization. So we max the screen 8.0 inches. If I put my fold free on top of it, I have like a one inch gap on the side. Yeah, it is one inch gap. So my phone almost covering the actual screen of the we max it display. So for me personally, this monitor to monitor stuff is not the is not the great thing because well I can open my phone and monitor this way exactly what's going on. Anyway, we max it eight inch. I was about to say portable display again. We max it eight inch display M818 model number and like I said, 1280 by 720p resolution. Samsung Dex works on that. Speakers, eh? The brightness actually on our screen, uh, that's the one I forgot to mention. Brightness of the screen is great. So we max it 8 inch poor, 8 inch portable display. We max it 8 inch display. It works for Samsung Dex and it has a lot of connections at the back that is definitely will find a place in your life. It will be probably on your desk or somewhere in the warehouse, somewhere in a garage or garage or camper van. You just connect this to something like a Jackery and you have this one running and you can watch videos YouTube or enjoy my content and subscribe to my channel. Anyway, thank you much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.